So we have a 06 S2000 here, so a few interesting things were found about this. First off, it has an 05 motor, so it's been converted to the 06. Well, we're doing kind of a visual inspection, got to advise the customer, we're doing a build on this car. But we have to advise him what we see, and the brakes are pretty trashed. I don't know if you can see that, how bad of a step there is on those rotors. The same on the back, too. But a few things we're seeing. And we work on these cars a lot. So first off, I thought we'd seen everything. Well, this drive shaft is very odd. It looks kind of like a universal drive shaft that can be made to fit anything. I mean, look at that thing. Have you ever seen anything like that? Obviously, it's a uh, universal. It's got obviously the adjustability right here. And then it's nut and bolts here instead of threaded, which is kind of bizarre. It's got an aftermarket catalytic converter, but it's fine. It's got the O2 in the cat. So that is all good. That works. Uh, aftermarket axles. Uh, again, just slightly different looking, different flanges. Uh, dented in tip. Uh, it's got the bypass welded on there. But we're noticing to do the fuel system you can see that right there that should have been one of those quick disconnects well someone's put a threaded union on there and then used kind of a couple of fuel injection clamps so they can go to the feed because it has like a you know 2004 2005 rail on an 06 motor so it's got a few bizarre things a lot of weird things on here um, that goes with everything that's like an 04 and up slave cylinder mounts all look good so we're gonna address that fuel because we want to change it to an 06 we'll put an 06 injectors in it it is an 06 motor and we've got to try and keep that close to the factory uh, I did say he had new shocks in the front which that does confirm that the ROE shocks it doesn't look like there's an issue but yeah i think we're gonna have to talk about that fuel system i'm gonna fix that and um, brakes are just not real clever at all it's got project mu back brake pad so somebody's somebody's done some changes on this thing it wants to do fluids as well again it isn't as bad as the front now, this is the most bizarre thing george and i were just kind of going back and forth with this joking about this Again, we've seen a lot of tires. We haven't seen this one, the Bridgestone Potenza RE92. Now, this is the bizarre thing, right? Look at the tread on that. Look at the like general shape and pattern of the tire. It just looks like your regular Toyota Camry tire. And it'll go like, you know, 60,000 miles without a problem because it's hard as a rock. Well, again, it just looks kind of a very, very very basic tire temperature a traction a tread wear 160 I mean doesn't that look like a five or six hundred tread wear tire and it feels hard it's probably a hard, uh, old tire but you cannot dig your nail into that rubber at all you guys seen this tire before that just looks like a million mile tire and it's a 160 tread wear now keep that in mind this is the tires, the RE71Rs. This one is a 200 tread wear. Things on the back side too. Where do we see that? Now here it is. This is a 200 tread wear. See that? And this looks like a sports car tire. And bolts on the subframe are all different lengths. So it's been uh, put together with some parts from an O. 405 and an 06 um, this was all mismatched some of the bolts were in it some were not uh, let me go show you the bumper a few places but this whole grill is flopping around which I want to do something to see if we can secure that we'll put some more clips back in there and then we're going to use some flexible glue this has to be heated to pull it around there but we don't want this flopping around. So we removed the clutch and flywheel. As you see, the seal is leaking just a little bit. It's not terrible, but it's wet. And again, it's a good idea to replace this stuff while you're in there. The time it takes to take it apart, you may as well do it. Uh, same on that one. 
this is where the slide is bolted it covers that seal so once you remove the slide you can see the seal it's not bad it's just a little moist if you check out our store and buy our clutch install kit we include all the parts related to this so it's always a good idea to replace them the time it takes to take the transmission off an extra 10 minutes just regular washer yeah that's interesting so it should be aluminum to obviously have the crush effect which this is the factory ones these are the factory ones right here this was another washer it was on there, which is like a spark plug style crush washer. Also, <laughs> steel. That's a, actually fell apart. You see that? That just separate there for a second. No. Interesting stuff that you see when somebody else has worked on a car and haven't used the right parts. So I don't know if you remember this in the beginning. This cover is pretty beat up, and it has these awful Phillips screws in there. So we're having to put spark plugs in this thing, so we're not gonna put this back on. We actually have a much nicer one, and I'm gonna change those screws too. These are just awful. So where will you see the transformation? Uh, I'm not crazy about the valve cover, but it's not beat up, and he didn't ask to replace it, and I hate to just keep telling uh, people that they need to replace stuff. So I think with a nice cover, it'll brighten it up no end. All right, so look how much better that looks. This was almost a new cover that we had, and of course, including our spark plug finishing bolts right there. So it's gonna look a whole lot nicer. We're gonna sit and clean this paint up on this, just make it look a little fancier for him. Always wanna make the customer feel like they're getting a little bit more than uh, what they're paying for. It's kind of the LHT TLC. And of course, there's a nice shot of our heat shield for the intake. We're gonna send that off to AB here in a minute and get it powder coated. New rotor on, new pads cleaned up. And of course, we'll stand this hardware to hold our rotor on. So between wheel swaps, we're not worried about rust getting over here and the rotor going back on slightly uneven. The old ones were pretty trashed. They were really badly grooved in here. And of course, the pads had nothing left on them at all. So these just came back in stock. These have been on back order forever. This is our master shift rebuild kit. Comes with all these parts that you see here. This is notorious for going uh, south. This foam falls apart. The, uh, the rubber boot gets deformed. The ring breaks. This stuff wears out and of course comes with the grease. We just got seven in yesterday and they're all sold out. So thanks for checking out the store and hopefully we're passing on some pretty good deals to you guys. So a couple of the things that we got in that I'm pretty excited about. So yeah, we use this all the time. This picture here is ours. We use this thing almost every single day. And then of course the other thing that we're pretty excited about, which I just managed to get these is the AP1 slate cylinder. This is a good option for obviously a car that gets old and it leaks, or if it's a 04 and up, you have the aluminum looking piece, which looks like this guy right here. That is the uh, slave that has the delay valve in it, which means when you release the clutch, the clutch actually has a slower release, so it doesn't clamp as quick. Usually promotes a little bit of slip and this prevents that. This is a much faster engagement, it's a bit better on your clutch and we just got some of those in from Honda and when they're gone they're gone I keep ordering this stuff but everything's on back order like you've probably seen it's so hard to get some of this stuff and of course these are selling well the brake lines we bought everything that Goodridge had and these are selling pretty quick so check all this stuff out thanks for watching thanks for looking in the store and buying stuff and supporting the channel all right exhaust is on we decided to go with a satin black and the polished tips, it has more of an OE look. And this is the modified Q, we call it the LHT Q300, basically take an uh, Q300 and modify it and improve it. Uh, back brakes are all put together, new rotors, new pads. I uh, already had braided stainless lines on it right here. They were in good shape, so it didn't have to replace those. But I showed you these early, they were in pretty bad shape, but now they're looking nice. All right, so a change under here, and I think it's for the better. Changed the valve cover. Turned out the valve cover he had was a modified 
2000, 2001, which has the dual sensors. This is an 06 that has the single sensor. It doesn't have the sensor on this side. You can kind of see uh, in the shadow right here. So it looks better anyway, look at that. So the valve cover that came off, let me show you what happened with that. This is actually a 2000, 2001 S2000. You can see by having the rubber grommet right here. This is where the PCV valve would go. Somebody has machined this down and kind of ground this and tried to change the surface height so it worked on an 06 car and damaged the sensor too. Let me show you the sensor. So there's the sensor, they jacked that up. You see actually there it was rubbing the gear which has probably damaged the sensor. So we replaced the valve cover and the sensor for the better. First off, it's the right one, it's an 06 which means it has the single sensor in the back it doesn't have a sensor here, uh, but being wrinkled black and then earlier we put the brand new spark plug cover on there. It just looks so much better. It looks really, really nice now. And of course, did our Vita solenoid, our battery tie, and our master cylinder brace. So it tidies it up, gives it some function too. So I think the customer is going to really be happy with this. All right, so George is going to do a little bit of driving with it. Make sure it's good, make sure everything feels okay. I've also got to set the brakes. There's like a brake in on the brakes. Get them to bite, okay? Just checking on you. Do you know what you're doing? Okay. So if you just keep doing that, <laughs> the brakes feel tight. Do they really just a little greasy? Yeah, they're hardly greasy. Okay, well that's good. So yeah, it's a good, good one. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so new pads, new rotors, you need to break them in or bed in the pads or set the pad. Everybody has their own term of what you're doing. Basically, you're making sure that the pad contacts the rotor fully. That means it's going to give you a tighter break. Plus, typically, the material on the pad, it has like a break-in surface. And usually, two or three stops, it pushes that. It basically just rubs that uh, coating off and the pad will start to bite a little bit better. You want to make sure that you break them in so you don't uh, glaze the pad which basically puts like a hardened surface on it and then it doesn't actually bite on the rotor basically just ruin the pads so that's what we're doing now so when the customer gets it back it's normal uh, you've always got to give the customer some instructions you know break in the clutch break in the brakes do this do that but you don't want to make it where the cat drive it so we do an initial break in on the clutch for the dyno but it doesn't have as much load on the dyno as it does on the street a little grimy a little yucky on the wheel so i'm gonna give it a good wash make it look nice it's early we don't want it to be too hot yeah, see what's being repaired there uh, it's not too bad being yellow if it was a black car. Obviously, you want to do it at midnight because uh, the water dries as quick as you can put it on there. But this should clean up, should look a little bit better. We'll give it a hand wax also. RPF ones yeah. on it. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. There's nothing wrong with having a whole matching set. Yeah. That's what I wanted to do with the truck. I'd always like a white ZR1 and then a white truck. And anyway, I got a blue truck. All right, so this one over here. Now I spent about an hour kind of detailing it. We give it a good wash, a scrub, and then just give it a hand wax and pulled it outside. Uh, the wheels are still pretty grammy. ITUs some pretty abrasive uh, polish to clean the wheels. They look a thousand times better, but they really should be refinished. And, you know, sometimes when the customer is uh, busy, they don't really detail their cars, they just kind of wash them. We speak to so many people that say, I really take care of it. I run it through the car wash twice a week. Well, sometimes that isn't the best thing for it. I'm not gonna go into detailing your car, but anyway, what do you think? Does that look better? 
you was a customer that just uh, drove across the country and you came and it was all sitting here ready, 400 horsepower, nice exhaust, nice car. So this was in the car, oh, giving it back. We went to plug in and this was just in there, plugged in with an open port. It looks like a very universal, like a sub harness. So I don't know what that is for. We're not gonna mess with it, we'll give it back. The seats could really use some, some love, maybe some conditioner and kind of let it sit in the sun and rub in some uh, treat. Try and get the leather nice and supple. It's a beauty, huh? So much better with that black valve cover. And I do like it with the gold on the black. It breaks it up and that was a new piece that we had. It was an almost brand new piece that we uh, switched somebody out and did a black one. And it was a real nice one, so we kept it. We're not selling to him that, by the way. If somebody wants to say, oh yeah, you stole it off somebody's car and sold it. We didn't, we took it in trade for a black one and we gave it to this guy. You'd be surprised how many times we do that. If your car comes in and it has a bad part on it and we have a good part on the shelf, we didn't pay anything for it. Guess what, you get that part for free. Just the kind of thing we like to do. All right, this one's done. Thanks for watching guys, see you on the next video. Don't forget, close your doors.